what uh, what changes uh, uh, playing them on the road from uh, the way you played here? Well, I, they, you know, the not that we were real strict with our matchups, but there was a couple um, matchups that we tried to or tried to get or, or you know, maybe a couple lines that we looked to, to play against their top line, but obviously they have that big advantage. And then I just think uh, the, the key with playing in that building is uh, when they get momentum, you know, doing something to get it back. Obviously, you know, we know about the sellouts and it's, a, it's, um, it's not as big as this building, but they certainly a good crowd and, and they're into the game. So uh, I think they're going to want to, you know, come out early and, and uh, try and grab the momentum. And I think during the game, um, not only the start of the game, but during the game when they do have that momentum, we got to do a good job of getting it back and have it in our favor. Getting the split obviously was, was important. Uh, is it better to, if that's going to happen? Would you rather go there off a win, you know, to have that? Yeah, win? I think so. Um, you know, and, and especially, you know, if you look at the way things ended yeah. game one, it was, uh, we said, a little disheartening, but we regrouped nicely, and um, it makes these days in between a, a little bit better. But, you know, again, they're going to, they're a good team. I'm, I'm sure they're, they're uh, going to make adjustments, and, and we need to be ready to go. But uh, it certainly oh, makes your know. off day and, and your day between, your days between games uh, a little more uh, fun around the rink. You gave the guys a day off yesterday. Uh, you practiced today. Did you feel uh, they're uh, fresh, ready to go? Fitness is good. Yeah, yeah. I think this time of year, you know, our practices are going to be short. It's just a matter of, you know, working on a couple things and, and getting the uh, getting the juices flowing again. Uh, we, we, you know, we have a potentially three skates before game three here. So uh, it's about using our time wisely. We were able to give some guys uh, a bit of a rest today, and we will continue to do that moving forward. Coach, a lot of the guys after game one said they were looking forward to a quick turnaround. One, they didn't know a lot about St. John, so they felt like maybe playing a, a second day in a row was a good thing. Does a long layoff or four-day layoff have any disadvantages to it? No, I don't think so. I think that the, the, especially after the loss, getting right back at it, but those are two hard-fought games. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are banged up and tired, so uh, you know, I think uh, two days, uh, you know, with a travel day here, I think three days is almost perfect. Um, you wouldn't want to wait till uh, the following Friday, but you know, with travel, with a, a day off in there, um, I, I think this is really the perfect amount of time. You held uh, Kelly Zajac and Dan Kelly out today. Is that uh, any concern about them being available for Wednesday? Uh, Kelly, maybe uh, Dan Kelly, maybe uh, Kelly Zajac. Right now is just precautionary, um, and but but still day to day as well. We'll see uh, how he feels after tomorrow or after today. Sorry. General bang up or is there an injury ball there? Yeah, just soreness, just soreness. Coach, how big have some of those guys who were sent back down here been in this series in this last couple of games? Well, huge. I mean, all all of them. I mean, they 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 were all here for different. Uh, you know, stints during the year. Uh, Cicelo, Sestito, two big minute guys, penalty killers. Uh, you know, Timmy's playing unbelievable right now. His, his physical play single handedly uh, leads us. And then obviously, he's an important guy in the room. And Cicelo wears a letter as well. Uh, one of a, you know, a few guys that plays penalty kill and power play. Again, huge minutes, uh, right hand shot for us. And then, you know, the, 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 those three on D are all impact guys, all mobile puck movers, read the rush, uh, composure with the puck, and, and all three of them are involved in the power play. Obviously, Jelena and Merrill are a little bit more um, power play guys than Larson, but they're all guys that, um, you know, uh, are, are play big minutes for us and, and play in, in pretty much all situations.